Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I want to do a quick video on this little ham radio. This is the Beofang that came in the battle box. Okay, the model here is a UV-5RA. And uh, most of the ones that are sold out there are black, but obviously it does come in different colors. So you see there's a blue one. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know much about it yet. I'm kind of making this video because of that. I want your help. I want you guys to tell me where I can get more information. I mean, I'm playing with this a little bit. I'll show you what I've figured out thus far. All right, so if I switch from frequency mode. channel to frequency, Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper see, I figured out Saturday. how to find some uh, local weather. Uh, 162.450 is the uh, weather station for me, anyway. Sunday, partly Pretty sunny. interesting. This thing gets really loud. In the mid 60s. Like, well, At 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Way louder than I would ever need it. Um, also, I figured out how to do the FM radio. Golf is the next one. So, so pretty what's cool. Your next move? Obviously, you can switch between the different uh, stations and stuff. Oh, switch that back. What's interesting, though, is that a lot of people were telling me, you know, be careful because you need to be licensed. This is uh, a transceiver. Okay, a lot of people thought this was, you know, just something you can listen into, but no, I can actually send out, um, you know, or communicate with people. Okay, so it is a two way radio. It is technically a ham radio. No, it's not some big expensive unit. It is very. Uh, entry level or amateur, um, but there's a lot of legalities apparently that surrounds this type of communication. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of people who are into this. This is like a full time hobby. People do this 24 7 and it just consumes some people. Uh, but obviously, it's a very enjoyable hobby. It's a very cool, interesting uh, hobby to have. But I'm completely new to it. Um, I was trying to look up online, you know, some different um, frequencies to tune into that I can listen to. And obviously, uh, you know, from what I understand, there's certain things that you do need different levels of licenses to be able to do legally. Uh, as of right now, I can't send a message. I can only listen. Okay, so if I send a message out, that's technically an illegal act. I don't know the, the penalties or anything. I'm not going to play with it. I'm not going to mess around like that. Um, I don't know the severity of uh, of the law as far as that uh, is concerned. But I'm making this video just to kind of say this thing is really cool and it's really affordable. It's between 20 and 30 bucks for this particular model. I've only found it in black. I couldn't find another colored one. I don't know if these colored ones were, you know, um, you know, sourced out specifically for the battle boxes to make them different. Uh, in fact, I want to know if you guys have, if you signed up for battle box and you got one of these things, if you got a blue one too, or if there's other colors that you got in your battle box, just curious about that. But it's really interesting. Obviously you can uh, plug in some uh, external um, antennas on this, get better reception even, but I'm getting really good reception with the FM. I'm only getting a couple stations though normal FM stations that come in like say through the car radio is not working with this. I don't know again if that's a you know if there's a different thing going on there that I don't know about. This is completely new to me. You guys know you know I I sometimes get sucked into like hobbies like this is something new and fascinating. I want to learn a lot about it but uh, I have very little time you know what I mean so I'm not gonna get like I'm not gonna be a huge ham radio guy Although I, I find it very fascinating and I would love to, it's just very low like on my priority list. I still have lots of other stuff to do all the time, lots of other hobbies. But I just think this is like super fascinating. It's really, really cool. Um, and I'm just interested in more information. I'd like to be able to hear maybe some local uh, police scanners, you know what I mean, uh, to hear what's going on in the area. I do have like an old fashioned you know, a uh, tabletop unit to, to listen to that kind of stuff, but I haven't broken out in a really long time. It's actually when my, my father got me on Craigslist uh, he likes to listen to, you know, what's going on in the area, which is always good. It's good to know what's going on in the now, as opposed to, like, reading it in the news later. You know what I mean? But uh, it's very fascinating. It's very interesting. Uh, like I said, the reason I'm kind of making this video is to say this thing is pretty damn cool. If you guys are interested in ham radio, this is a great, cheap way to get into it. People, of course, can give you more advice down below who have, who have done this before. Some people may say, hey, you know what? Surpass that. Just save up. Get this thing so you can, you know, be more capable but I think if it's a hobby, you don't know whether you're going to like or not, you know, obviously like knives, you know, just jump in and get a three, four hundred dollar knife for your first knife. You know, you test the waters. You, you see if you like the hobby. You don't spend a bunch of money on something up front until at least you know what's going on. Or if you know that you're going to be interested in the hobby in the long term where the money that's invested into it is really worth it for you. But uh, I think it's cool. So I'm definitely recommending this for people who have way more time to get involved with ham radio and to get licensed and stuff. People said it's a lot easier to get licensed. That's the other thing. How do you get licensed? Where do you go? How much does it cost? 
You know what I mean? And, and what's the limitations on a unit like this as compared to some of the way more expensive, you know, dedicated desktops or even the more expensive handhelds? Um, I'm just, uh, I'm open to learn. I really want to know more about this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you that real quick and share that with you. Uh, it's very fun. Uh, I'm, I've been playing with it lately, so I have a lot to learn, though. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.